G'day, it's Craig here, and I'd like to go through some of our Anderson style connectors, the plugs that we sell, some of the little adapters, little bits and pieces to help you wire up your dual battery system or your camper trail or caravan, whatever. So let's jump on into it and I'll give you a brief little rundown. Now, if you're not sure what an Anderson connector is or an Anderson style connector, obviously we've got our own kick ass branded ones here. But basically, instead of using like your trailer plug or you know automotive terminals that don't handle a lot of current, these, these are classed at 50 amps. So these are so common you'll see in the camping industry, um, the wiring industry. They're a great connector. I mean, obviously it's a nice positive connection. You can't get them wrong. They go in with each other. They're really hard, you know, take a bit of strain to pull in and out. You can't put them in wrong. You can't put them in out of the wrong way. So you can get, even get your kids to plug them in. They are that nice and good of a, a connector. Now, a couple of things I want to point out is we do a couple of specific colors. So we have our gray, our yellow, blue, red, and black. Now, just one thing to remember is the black and the gray, they love each other. So, I mean, you could play a bit of Barry White and the background softly and plug them in with each other. They work well with each other. The other three are color code specific. So you can only put red in red, blue in blue, and yellow and yellow. And a good thing to remember, um, a lot of the times you'll see the red specifically on caravan installations with their uh, electronic stability control, or the ABS systems, and that's so that you don't accidentally plug that, you know, into your fridge, so to speak. So if you want to run something particular, like say a solar panel into a particular area or of your connection, you could put say yellow, so you know it's only got solar going in there. Um, these three are only color specific. Okay, so let's have a quick look how to install the pins onto the wiring and then into the Anderson plug itself. And it's so simple. First off, what you need to do, we normally recommend around about um, 10 mil to cut the wiring there, whether you use strippers or razor blade, it doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, you just want it to be a nice fit. You can also use the Anderson plug as a guide, as you can see here. We've got a nice little fitting there. So it's not gonna crimp any of the sheath on it, just the wire itself. So you just wanna put the terminal in like that. Now remember, um, when you're doing Anderson plugs, the right hand side's always the positive. So what you want to do is make sure this little lug here, the lug is facing the downwards position like that. So that way we get it right when we go to put it in the Anderson plug. So we'll just put the wiring into the Anderson plug like that. Now you can use whatever sort of crimps you've got. I've got this set of crimps here. I'll quickly show you how to crimp it on. Okay, we'll just do a quick crimp. So there we go, we've crimped on our Anderson plug and just do the earth exactly the same as that. And I'll quickly show you on a finished product here. So I've got our nice crimps. We've got our little um, ends there facing downwards. It's really just a matter of lining up, obviously the positive side for the right hand, like I said. Slide your Anderson plug in there. A lot of the time you can just click it in here, a positive click like that. And you can tell that um, the pins have come right up to the very end. You can always grab a little bit of a screwdriver, just give them a little bit of a poke and make sure there's a nice positive click. And don't forget from time to time, do double check your connectors after a couple of camping seasons just to make sure they're all uh, nice and firm in there. Now, just in case you do get it wrong or you do want to change plugs or you've damaged a plug out while you've been camping and accidentally ran over it or something like that, basically it's just the opposite procedure. Grab yourself a screwdriver, what you want to do is basically on the spring clip is press it down, take some pressure off it. It actually comes just like that. So that's really how easy it is. Okay, let me show off some of our adapters now with the Anderson connectors. We've pretty much got you covered for all your wiring installations. So this might uh, give you a couple of ideas, um, something handy, great gift for someone if they want to wire up their um, caravan or camper trail or camping setup. I'll just go through a couple. Uh, first off, you know, something nice and simple, set of ring terminals onto an Anderson plug. You can hook this onto your batteries and then you've got a connector coming off. Nice and easy to disconnect it when you want to. Um, the next one up, let's have a quick look here. We've got our maxi fuse holder. So it actually has a fuse uh, with a cover on it. We'll supply a couple of fuses with it. So this is great for installations for batteries, something that might be handy. We've got extension leads. So we have multiple ranges in different lengths. So don't forget to check out the website and have a look, but these come in really handy if you want, want to run your solar panel out a little bit further or maybe your camping shower or something like that. So we've got you covered with extension leads. 
uh, six sockets. So we've got our mail. So this might come in handy for someone that um, has got a, a, a cigarette lighter socket in the back of the car and you want to run an Anderson plug off it for something. That comes in really handy. We've got the female plugs. We sell them in ones, twos, even threes. I mean, this might come in handy to run a couple other appliances that you already have. So keep that in mind. These are really nifty. We have alligator clips. So this will come in handy if you just want to do a temporary setup on a battery or something like that. Or if a, if a mate's battery's gone flat and you've got a solar panel and you want to help him out, you can probably put that on for a couple of beers and let it charge up the battery. Nice and handy. We have a couple other little nifty little products here. We've got two Anderson plugs into the one. So, you know, if you want to run two solar panels, you know, onto a regulator, something like that, or two power sources out and one in, either or, that's really great. My, my favorite, the three-way. Uh, once again, you can plug three Andersons into the one. So all these little items make it so easy to wire up your 12 volt camping system. Thank you so much for joining us on our little journey of our Anderson plugs and connectors. Uh, our adapters and our bits and pieces. I hope I've given you a couple of great ideas, maybe a little bit of inspiration for your next wiring job, how easy it is to use Anderson plugs. Just keep in mind, remember it is only the gray and the black that can be interchanged. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing those and remember it's color for color otherwise. A couple little hints I wanna give you before I go. With your Anderson plugs themselves, when you're disconnecting them, just remember, Disconnect by the plug itself. I mean, there's no use grabbing it by the wiring. If you have a hard time doing that, we have a great little product, which is this little T-piece here. Comes in a little kit with the two screws and bolts through. Makes it nice and easy to disconnect and connect your Anderson plugs. Another quick hint as well is these little dust covers. So when you're doing your installation, you wanna really neaten it up. This is really simple. Just wrap it around your wiring, either before you put your plug on. Just covers it up. It's really handy if you put it on your trailer or your camper van or caravan or something like that. Just makes it look nice and neat. Keeps all the dust out of it. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up for now. Don't forget to head over our website, check all our bits and pieces and adapters for our Anderson connectors. I'm sure you're gonna find something that's gonna be really useful. And that's it from me for now.